Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about being old and still in the club. This is a video for the young people that are transitioning to the old club. And dig it, I'm in the old club now, and it's cool, you know what I mean? So not only is this video transitional, hopefully it's transformative as well. You know, if I had to describe the age group for the old people's club, it would be from your late 30s all the way to the grave. And you see some stuff at the old people club that you just don't see at the young club. Like you see people walking around, they just falling down. They ain't even drunk. You see people on the dance floor just dancing, having a good time. And they still have a hospital check-in bracelet on their wrist. Talk about straight from the IV to the party. You see a whole bunch of people walking around like their feet hurt too. Ooh, ooh. These shoes, ooh, these shoes. And you hear this a whole bunch at the old club. Where are my keys? I think I lost my keys. But basically, you see a whole bunch of people trying to hang on to what they used to be. You know, the women in the old club are very open to enhancing their beauty too. I've overheard them at the table talking. Girl, you know I'm going in for minor cosmetic surgery next month. My doctor says I have a few puppy wrinkles on my face. Her friend's like, puppy wrinkles my ass. Bitch, you full-blown Sharpay. That's about two years past Bloodhound. Is he going to do something about the Rick Ross titties too? Mm, look who's talking. You just need a man to release your frustrations. Plus another Snickers. Now let me tell y'all something. At the old club, you will get to see the unthinkable. Just imagine this. The DJ goes, It's the pot over here. Well, it's dead over Old Maurice in the middle of the dance floor dead. People running and screaming. A few people trying to help him out. He in the middle of the dance floor dead. See, I told Maurice, I said, Maurice, don't dance with those young girls. See, old Maurice, he danced with that young girl and he made a fatal mistake. He tried to keep up with her. That young girl, she dropped it like it was hot. And that 68 year old Maurice, he tried to get down there with her. When he tried to come back up, some game, I don't know what it is, but I tried to warn that dude. Some people at the old club need to know when to say wait. You see him pull up to the club, it'll take him 30 minutes to get out of the car. When the club is over, it'll take him an hour to get in the car to leave. People trying to help him to get back in their car so they can go home. Another thing about the old club is there's really no fights. And when there is a little fist of cuffs, it's only about five to eight seconds. And after that five seconds, they be breathing like they've been underwater for 15 minutes. <sighs> I told you not to step on my shoes again and I said, I'm sorry. <sighs> you know the thing about the old people's club is all the guys feel like they have a fair chance. You know what I mean? You even see the guy that looks like he has the mutated gene talking to the women. I mean, you know, the opposite of the superhero mutated gene. Give me your phone number, girl. And then you see the chicks that are like professional old hoes. They've taken flight with so many men, they have space shuttle mouths. You know the type, the kind that carries her own condoms. And there's all kinds of bags in the old folks club. You got Gucci bags, eye bags, colostomy bags, old bags that can end up in body bags. And last but not least, you got young girls running around there looking for money bags. You see dudes in there that only have one suit, you know, their Easter suit. You know it's an Easter suit because it still smells like mothballs. You see dudes in jumpsuits, pimp suits, glow-in-the-dark suits. You even see guys there in their civil rights suit. Now dudes that wear civil rights suits are some tough dudes because there's some things you can't do in a civil rights suit. Like when they let them dogs go on you back in the day, you ain't supposed to run if you got on a civil rights suit. 